Oh shit. Alright boys and girls, welcome back to another episode of Dying Light. After waiting for a long while, we are back at it, and this time around, we are continuing with the mission we were busy with. Unfortunately, we have to redo this section because I quit my game last time right there, so we need to do this again. So let's take this guy. Whoa, what is this? Alright, I messed up there. But I'll just kill him. There you go. Easy enough. So I can grab that one again. Uh, this was the controls. Oh, baby. Alright. There you go. So uh, we are basically at the part where we were before. Gotta spam my button. It's open. We are at the part where we were before, and uh, we'll just continue from this point on. So, let's see. Seems to be something here. Actually, these uh, these shapes when you when you use this, it actually looks a lot like Watch Dogs. There you go. You got it. All right, I've got the substation reset. But if the grid shorted once, you know it could happen again, right? You leave the electrical engineering to me, okay? Just get your ass to a safe zone. You're gonna have to spend the night there. Mm -hmm. Got everything we can see. Do some lock picking. Here you go. Easy! See what's inside. Oh, nice. Well, it's not that nice, actually. We. Open this. Alright, so I can basically get rid of this one. And then grab that one. Nice. getting quite dark so we need to get back relatively fast so let's go man find shelter in a safe house before it gets dark it's already pretty dark I think there's a button for a flashlight but I totally forgot what it was it's already quite dark man oh boy Run! Alright, the busy streets. Busy street of the zombies. Coming through. Coming through, guys. Alright. And we got here. What the f What the hell was that? What the fuck is that? Hey Doc, this is Kyle Crane. Crane! What can I do for you? I just saw this freaking weird zombie. He's covered in big green blisters. It, it hauled ass as soon as it spotted me. You know anything about it? <laughs> Not enough information, I'm afraid. If you see another one, do let me know, will you? Alright. 
So we're gonna sleep, wait until the morning, and then we will get back to it. Spike, what's going on? Something bad happened. We need to talk. Okay, give me a sec. You have completed the prologue and the co-op mode is now available. Press escape to enter the game menu where you can find or join other players. Oh man, that's awesome. Fortunately, I don't have any friends that actually play this game, but if they did, that would have been really awesome. Just gonna skip through all these zombies. Screw that. Go, go, go! What the hell was that? <laughs> Gotta kill some zombies every now and then to keep ourselves satisfied, alright? So, we are right here. Talk to Spike. Yo, Spike. man. What's up? Hey, Crane. First of all, you did great out there. From now on, if you need something, come see me. And to start with, use a UV flashlight and a remote control. You run up on a volatile, give him a face full of UV, or lead him into a trap which you can trigger with that remote. Got it? Got it. Perfect. Now for the bad news. Despite your efforts, Brecken's mission failed. Oh, shit, is he okay? He's alive. But you need to get back to the tower. Jay called all the scouts in, and that means you. Okay. Wonder if I'll finally get to meet Bracken in person. Sweet. Back to the tower. The tower of Terror. I should actually let's see. Skills. Should actually use this. So, we can choose from Backpacker and Boosters. I'm gonna go for Backpacker in this one. Oh, I still have to take the, the casual one. Alright. Same here. Good. <laughs> Gotta get up here somehow. Crane here. Report. I'm about to have a meeting with the tower's leader. Acknowledged. Confirm his identity and contact us immediately. All right. Take the elevator up, and we'll meet the leader, Sir Brecken. Brecken's mission failed. Jade called a meeting in the tower. It's my opportunity to finally meet with Brecken and confirm his identity. Oh yeah. Crane, listen, Brecken and a team of runners went after an airdrop last night. 
He lost the rest of his team to biters, and then Ryze's men ambushed him, beat him to a pulp, and stole the drop. Now Brecken wants to go after the next drop himself, but we can't let him, and you've got to back me up, okay? For God's sake! You can't even walk straight! We need you alive, you idiot! Okay, we're going in. Act confident. Brecken? Lena? Maybe you can get through to him. Right. Who's your friend? Kyle Crane. Look, Brecken, the last thing we need is for you to go back out there. We can figure out another way without jeopardizing you. Right, Crane? I'll go. I'll do it. Right. Yes. Crane will go. He'll be happy to. Jesus. No offense, friend, but you're as green as grass. You can't just... Crane will manage. He'll start in the right spot. And Lena's right. You need to be here taking care of the towers, convincing them the world's not over yet. Oh, hell. Maybe one more try before we go to Rice. Yeah. Okay, fine. Good luck, Crane. Thanks, buddy. Jade. Sure. Head for the cauldron. I'll be in touch shortly. Look, there's something else we need to discuss. Brecken was hurt pretty bad out there. Worse than he wants people to know. He took a blow to the head. Now he's starting to have seizures, and I don't have any Laura tracks. Yeah, I doubt anyone does. Anti-seizure drugs were being passed out like candy when the infection first started. And the stores ran out weeks ago. Yes, that's right. How do you know that? Look, what do you need me to do, Lena? There's a man in town named Gazi. He's not altogether rare, if you know what I mean. His mother had epilepsy, so he used to pick up medicine for her each month. She died two years ago, but Gazi kept going to the store to pick up her prescription. He likes his routine, and Gazi can be very insistent. So, they kept giving it to him. You think he's been stockpiling it all this time? If he hasn't, I don't know where else we're going to get it from. Gazi lives under the overpass, and don't mention his mother's death. He won't understand. All right, why do I have to do that? Anyways, we're going to be focusing on the main quests and not on the side quests. Just for the purpose of keeping it um, below 30 episodes, hopefully. So that's what we're going to be doing. Most of the runners out of action. Brecken wants the scouts to take their place. That means me. We're supposed to go for the next airdrop right before sunset. Jade will be showing me the ropes. That won't be awkward at all. Um, this one might be tight. Attack the GRE. Uh, this way. So basically we need to do something right before sunset. So that means that if anything goes badly, we have a problem because we need to survive the night. This rain effect though on the screen. I like the the wind effect though. Crane here. Report. Tower boss is named Brecken, and he's definitely not your man. The other likely suspect is this warlord, basically local guy. Calls himself Rise. He's hoarding antizin and then gouging the hell out of anybody who wants to buy some. I'm on a mission to get antizin from the airdrop. If I don't succeed, they'll have to come up with something else. Acknowledged. Good job, Crane. You're doing well. Stay on task, and we'll be in touch. Be sure to call us immediately if and when you get that antizen.
All right, let's go. Look for the airdrop in the cauldron area. Oh man. I don't like this. We're getting into nighttime. Survivor died. Crazy man. Jade, I'm getting close to the drop zone. Good. Find some shelter and wait. And there's a crate. It looks intact. I'll check out what's inside. Hmm. Gotta get up there. I love all the uh, free roaming, the climbing around and stuff. It's awesome. It should be here. Fucking hell! Hope I don't end up like this poor bastard. Oh, it should be up here. There it is. Nothing here. Did you see that? Yeah, two drops. They landed elsewhere, unfortunately, but you're not that far away. Get to those crates before anyone else does. Go, go, go. Keep him running. Should be here. Looking at the red smoke. Shit. Too late. Jade Rice's men got here first. Fuck. Okay. Don't try to fight them. Just find the second one. Look for the smoke from the flare. The crate should be close by. All right, let's go for the other one. I actually wonder what would happen if I fought them. And if I killed them. Like, would I be able to get the loot? Or... Is it all just set and done? Come on, man, keep running. I'm almost there. I can do this. Oh no. I am almost there, but it's kind of far away though. From my house. There's a lot of smoke over. Where did it drop? Here it is. All 
gonna get wrecked. Oh, baby. Crane here. I'm about to recover an antizen drop. Good, Crane. This offers us a new strategy. Time to turn your attention to Rise. Listen closely. It's very possible that Rise is our man. So if you find an airdrop containing antizen, destroy it. What? What? Why? It will force interaction with Rise. You can go under Brecken's auspices as an ambassador, if you will. But, but there are civilians depending on this stuff. Our plan is focused on the greater good. Remember that. Oh, man, are you serious? I gotta destroy this. Oh, he keeps one for himself. That's smart. So basically, we, we've gone here at nighttime just to destroy these things. Jade, I'm at the airdrop. There's no antis in here. Done? Fuck. Fuck! All right. Get back here and be careful. The nightmares are awake. Don't let them see. The nightmares are awake. Oh, Fuck. Shit. They must have heard me. Oh, shit. I don't know where the fuck to go, but just running the shit out of there. Holy shit. This is not good, man. Baby. Run. Am I going to survive this? I don't know, man. Holy shit, get out of here. Run! Run, motherfuckers! I'm here! Holy shit. Oh, baby. That's not fun. Especially the fact that you don't see shit. It's a little bit too dark. But we made it. I made it in one piece. Now I know how Brecken must have felt running at night. It was no picnic. Got to report to him and tell him I don't have any answers in. Lying to everyone stinks, but I know the GRE is working for the greater good. Let's meet up with this guy. Reckon, come on. I mean, we need answers. I know, but buying from Rise? You can't be serious. For God's sakes, I'll go. I'm not scared. Absolutely not. We've discussed that already. We didn't discuss it. You just decided that I'll I... go. Are you serious? Well, this Rice guy has never seen my face before. Clean slate, right? Did you guys give Crane and me the room, please? I love his accent. <laughs> you sure you're up for this? Has to be done, doesn't it? Well, I'm not gonna argue. Rice's place is over here. Just find out what this will cost us and come back in one piece. Thanks, bro. Probably gonna have to sleep because it's night time. Gonna go ahead and check that out. 
I don't want to go over. Wait until morning. There we go. We're not doing this in the night, man. That's suicide. And let's go. Um, actually, I'm gonna stop this episode right now, and we're gonna continue in the next one because we've already been filming for around 26 minutes, and that ran really fast. <laughs> So I'll see you guys in the next episode. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please press the like button below. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.